Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I am from Jenny Card Designs. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting tutorials and inspiration with all of you. I hope that you enjoy. Today's video features an extra special card and envelope that I created using some Gina K Designs products. And I just wanna kind of show you the project just so that you see where we're headed. I don't normally show the completed project ahead of time, but I think for this one, I think it was a little important to kind of see the mechanism and how it works so that you had a clear idea of what direction we were headed in. So this is the finished card project. It's a little pop-up box and um, it fits exactly inside of an A2 envelope and folds up nice and flat and uh, I think it's a little extra special. Also what's extra special about this video today is that I will be giving away a copy of the Winter Hugs stamp and die set in honor of my Facebook page reaching over 1,000 likes and follows. And I just wanna thank everybody from the bottom of my heart, all of the support that I get across all of my social media platforms. So thank you for being here and supporting Jenny Card Designs. Stay tuned to the end of this video and see how you can be entered in to win this stamp and die set. And uh, let's get into today's project. So let's start with the products that we'll need. I'll be using the Gina K Designs Winter Hug Stamp and Die Set. I've got a Misty, I've got a set of layering dies. You can use any layering dies that you have in your stash. I've got some white cardstock, I've got a scrap, and I have a full eight and a half by 11 sheet. And then I also have some Gina K Designs Tranquil Teal cardstock, along with the Snowfall stencil, some Glitz Glitter Gel, and some Tranquil Teal ink, and as, as well as the Amalgam ink. So let's start with the messy stuff first. So the first part of this project, I'm going to use my Glitz Glitter Gel. So I wanna do this part first, so that by the time I get to assembling the card, my Glitz Glitter Gel will be dried. So I'm gonna grab a piece of my Tranquil Teal cardstock. I am in love with this color. I think it is so gorgeous. I think it's one of my most absolute favorite Gina K Designs colors, and I don't use it nearly enough. So I'm going to cut out a couple of panels that measure five and a quarter by four, and I'm going to need two of those, one for the outside of my box and one for the insert. So I'll get two panels cut up, and then I'm gonna save this little strip. I'm gonna use that for my sentiment later on, and I'm just gonna set those cardstock pieces aside. I decided to use the Gina K Design Snowflake Background Stamp. This stamp is so pretty, and it's got so much beautiful detail inside of it. So I'm just going to ink it up using my Tranquil Teal ink. And then I'm going to take my Tranquil Teal panel and I'm gonna lay that right over top of my rubber stamp and grab a scratched piece of paper and just rub my hands over top of the cardstock, making sure that we get a nice transfer of ink onto that Tranquil Teal cardstock. And we're just creating a tone on tone look here. The Tranquil Teal ink on its matching cardstock is so pretty. It's such a lovely color combination. Okay, I'm gonna make that twice. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna ink it up two times so we have two of the same panel. So now we're going to move on to the Glitz Glitter Gel. I'm gonna take some painter's tape. This is a low tack tape. I'm going to tape my panel down to my scrap piece of paper and then I'm going to tape my stencil over top and I'll grab my Glitz Glitter Gel. This is just the white Glitz Glitter Gel. I want to use the iridescent glitter gel but I don't have that one yet and I'm just waiting for it to come back into stock so I can get my hands on it so for today I'm using my white glitz glitter gel and I'm just gonna mix it up using my rubber spatula to make sure I get a good mix of glitter and gel I'm just going to wipe that over top of my project applying a nice even coat of glitz glitter gel and then I'm going to lift it up and look at that this beautiful glittery snowfall background I love it so much so I'm just going to open up my little hinge, use the same piece of tape to tape down my cardstock panel, and put it right back in the same spot and repeat. I'll take my Glitz Glitter Gel, cover my panel, giving a nice good even coating, and then once I'm happy with the coverage, I'll lift it up, reveal my gorgeous panel, and then I'm gonna get everything cleaned up right away. I don't like to leave anything sort of sitting around because I don't want my glitter gel to go to waste or any of my tools to get ruined. 
So I'm going to clean everything up and then I'm going to set these panels aside to dry. Okay, now we're going to pull in our scoreboard and an 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock. And I've got a Teflon bone folder here. I like using my Teflon bone folder because it doesn't leave any marks on my cardstock. So we're going to start by making these score marks. And the first score mark is going to be at half of an inch, one inch, five and a quarter inches, and five and three quarter inches. Now this is going to give us two panels and I'm just marking at six and a quarter inches and then just putting some pencil marks here so you can see my score lines and they travel all the way down the page from the top to the bottom. And then that six and a quarter inch, just the way that my little arm extends on my Tim Holtz tonic trimmer, I can't see the six and a quarter inch. So I just like to mark it just to be safe. So I'm going to take this panel and cut it at six and a quarter inches and then rotate my cardstock and cut it in half at five and a half inches. And that's going to give us two panels. So then I take those two panels and I just line them up against each other just to make sure that they are the exact same size. One panel we're going to use for the front window and one panel is going to be the back and we don't need that right now so we're going to set that one aside and we're just going to work on the front panel. So I grabbed my set of layering dies so you'll need two different sizes of dies to create a little window frame. Using the smaller of the two dies I'm going to center this in my panel where I want my focal point to be on my little box and I'll use some tape and tape it down. I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and get that window cut out. And now this little piece, you can save this and use it for later for another project. This one has some nice stitching around it, so it'll be a nice piece for another card. So I'll set that aside. I won't use that today. I'm just going to erase my pencil marks and then I'm gonna do some stamping. I'm going to grab my little snowman and the little envelope from this set and I'm going to get them lined up on my panel and I'm going to stamp them using some Genie K Designs Amalgam ink. And this is the Obsidian ink. It's a nice dark black ink and it's alcohol marker friendly. So that's the reason why I'm using this one today. So I'm going to ink up my snowman and, I, and I'm going to do this a few times to get a nice dark black impression. And I stamp the envelope a couple of times. I want a few envelopes for my project. So I'm going to use my heat gun just to make sure that my ink is dry because I stamped it a few times. It's going to take a little bit longer to dry and I don't want my alcohol markers to smudge the ink. And then I'm going to grab some Copic markers and do some quick coloring on my stamped images. Nothing fancy, just some quick basic coloring. And so it's Christmas. The fast of music in the air See the smiling faces everywhere They stop and stare Another Christmas Time to sell I like the way that turns out and then I'm going to cut these out using the coordinating dies and I get all of my elements cut out. I used a little bit of Wink of Stella shimmer pen to bring some glitter to my little snowman's hat and scarf. I probably should have done the whole snowman but I don't know what I was thinking. I just wanted the scarf to be glittery. Okay, so now we're going to work on adhering these panels down. So now that my Glitz Glitter Gel is dry, I'm going to grab my layering die, the larger of the two, and I'm going to line up my panel on the front of my card where I want it. And then I'm going to flip it over and make some pencil marks where that window for the white panel is. So I want everything to be centered and line up properly. So you can't see it here, but I've got some pencil marks. And I'm going to take my die, the larger of the two, and just center it over top of the marks that I have so that everything lines up nicely. I'll run it through my die cut machine and get it cut out. And then I have a nice glittery panel for another project. So I'll save that. I definitely won't throw it out. This has some nice stitching detail on it too. So I'm gonna set that aside. I'm not gonna use that for this project. And then I'm going to grab some 
some double-sided adhesive, some nice strong stuff, and I'm going to adhere that to my panel and then pull off the release paper, and then I'm going to center this around my front panel, creating a nice frame with a, a white space mat. I think that's really pretty. We're going to fold the score marks. So here you want to fold it so it looks like a little bit of a Z. So you want to fold it in and then fold it back on itself and repeat that for both sides. And then you've got two little arms that are going to fold in and then when you pull them that's what's going to pop the box up. I'm going to add some adhesive to the, the little quarter inch flaps on the outermost part of the box. So we have adhesive on both sides, and this is how we're going to adhere our box together. Okay, and then I'm going to take the second panel and adhere this down, and I'm going to center that on my panel, making sure that it's right in the middle. And now I flipped it over because these side flaps have to be folded in instead of back, like the front panel. So here you'll notice I'm folding these in on top of the panel, doing the exact same thing. So I'll fold the, the side flap over top of the Glitz Glitter Gel and then fold the other piece backwards on itself. Does that make sense? So making sure that all my mechanisms are working and are creased and I'm going to line the two pieces up together so you'll see what I'm talking about here. And then this is how our box is going to open and close. Okay, so now I'm just figuring out my placement and where I want all of my elements. I want my little snowman in the center here and I want him to hold on to one of the envelopes. I decided I want to use some action wobblers. And if you don't have action wobblers, I will link to a video in the top right hand corner of the screen to show you how you can make them yourself with very basic supplies in your craft room. So I've got some of these little action wobblers that have adhesive on them and I'll just peel the adhesive off and stick that to the back of my snowman. And then I'm going to take some wet glue and I'm going to adhere his envelope to his hand. And I thought that it would look like he was holding this letter to be hand delivered. Now, as an afterthought, I added a action wobbler to the envelope and I probably shouldn't have adhered the envelope to his hand at this point because they, they don't really action wobble together. So if you're going to recreate this card, don't adhere the envelope to his hand just put it beside his hand and then adhere it down to your background. Okay, then I grabbed some scraps. I had laminated some die cuts and I had some scraps left over. So I use these to create little arms that are invisible. So it looks like my letters are sort of floating. So I'm going to peel off the release paper from my action wobblers and I wanna adhere my snowman down. So I just set him inside of there and figure out where he's going to sit inside of the window. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to push it down. And there we go. He's all adhered to his background. So he's popped up. He doesn't wobble so much because he's glued to his, his envelope. But you can make him wobble if you don't glue his envelope together. And then I'm going to take the little floaty envelopes and get those adhered inside of the panel. And now every time I, I glue one down, I just make sure that they don't interfere with each other as you open and close the box. So I want to make sure that everything is sitting right. So I keep checking to make sure what the images look like when they're opened and closed and with the, the window panel over top as well so that you can see everything. So once I'm happy with all of that, I'm going to adhere the box together. So I'm going to pull off the release paper off the front panel and I'm going to adhere that down. And don't worry about that acetate sticking off the side. We will cut that off later on. So I want to make sure this is nice and straight and lined up evenly. So take your time here to make sure that everything gets in place where it's supposed to be. So press that down and then if it's lined up straight, the other side should just adhere down without a problem. So we'll peel up that release paper, press down everything flat, and then it should just line up right on top of each other. And then if it doesn't, you can always go back to your trimmer and just trim off any excess if you see that there's any overhang. So we're going to cut off those little excess acetate pieces. And then I want to stamp my sentiment. I grabbed the sentiment from the Winter Hug stamp set that says a paper hug inside. And then I grabbed my embossing kit and I used my anti-static powder bag and I just patted that over top of my little strip here to make sure that my embossing powder doesn't stick where I don't want it to. 
and then I'll ink up my sentiment with my Gina K Designs watermark ink and then I'll stamp that in the center of my little scrap strip here. I've also got a coffee filter where I can sprinkle my embossing powder over top to catch any of the excess and I can put it back in. And this is the Gina K Designs Fine Detail White Embossing Powder. So I'll sprinkle that over top of my sentiment and make sure that I get nice even coverage. And then I'll put all of my embossing powder back away so that I don't blow it all over the place and make a mess. And then I'm going to grab my heat gun. I will heat set this until it's smooth and melted. I got a little bit of embossing powder where I didn't want it, so I just used my craft pick just to kind of scrape it away, and that works out perfectly. I put a little bit of liquid adhesive on the side of my sentiment strip, and then I'm going to set that on the inside of my box. So it's going to kind of go across the top, but on the inside, so you won't see how it's adhered. It just gives us a little bit of dimension and a floating sentiment right in the forefront of our box. Then I decided to take some of the Tranquil Teal cardstock and just cut little strips to finish off the side flaps. I think if I, in hindsight I probably would have stamped this with the snowflake background along with Glitz Glitter Gel too, just so that everything tied in together nicely, but this worked out just fine as well. So there we go, our pop-up box is complete. Then I decided to do a little something something to the envelope. I took a little bit of the low tack painters tape and the Gina K Designs Tranquil Teal ink and that snowfall background and I'm just going to ink up the back flap of my envelope and tie everything together. So now our envelope has that beautiful Tranquil Teal snowflake background and coordinates nicely with our card. So everything looks lovely and here we go this is our finished card project and our little envelopes move on the inside when we pull the side arms for the box to stand up. Super cute. I think this is an extra special card for an extra special person at Christmas, even though it's May and it's not Christmas. But this video is kind of like Christmas because I'll be giving away a copy of this stamp set. So leave a comment down below or head on over to my Facebook page at Jenny Card Designs and follow me there and you can leave a comment there as well and let me know what your favorite Gina K Designs product is. I know I think mine would have to be my number one most favorite thing is Gina K Designs ink. She has the most lovely ink colors and they're so beautiful and they stamp so nicely. And then of course the stamps and the Glitz Glitter Gel and oh, the cardstock. The cardstock is amazing. So thank you so much for stopping by and spending a little bit of your time with me here today. I appreciate all of the support as always. Coming up on screen are a few videos that I think that you may enjoy. Stay tuned for a few more giveaways coming up in the next week or so. So have a lovely day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.